Today I'm going to teach you how to install World Edit for Minecraft 1.19.2. Installing World Edit should be a simple process. I'm going to teach you how to do it real quick and also how to fix any issues that you might have along the way. Now, step number one is to actually open the Minecraft launcher and launch Minecraft 1.19.2. We need to launch Minecraft 1.19.2 in order to create an instance of the regular vanilla Minecraft before we go ahead and mod it. Now, if you have already played Minecraft 1.19.2 vanilla at least once on your computer, you don't actually have to do this step and you could skip to the next step. But anyways, just go ahead and launch your game and then just close it out once it opens. Let's wait for this to open. And now that the game has opened, we could go ahead and click on quit game and we have to make sure that our Minecraft launcher is closed. As you can see down here, I don't have Minecraft launcher open. So let's go ahead and keep going. Go ahead and click on the second link in the description, which will bring you to our written guide on how to download and install Forge. Now, Forge is a requirement Actually, Forge or Fabric, I'm going to be using Forge in this tutorial, but you could use Fabric if you want, because we do need to mod Minecraft in order to add World Edit. Unlike Optifine, where we could just install Optifine without installing Forge first, we actually have to install Forge or Fabric to add World Edit. So go ahead and click on the second link in the description, which will bring you, of course, to our written guide on how to download and install Forge. But don't worry, because I'm going to teach you how to do it in this video in case you don't want to read and look through the screenshots. Once you're over here, scroll down until you find the button that says Download Forge here and go ahead and click on it. That is going to redirect you over here, where as you can is going to land you on Forge 1.19, just 1.19. And we don't want 1.19, we actually want 1.19.2. So in order to find that, go ahead and scroll to the left side. As you can see, it says 1.19.2 right here. Go ahead and click on that. And that is going to load this app in here where we're going to click the installer. That is going to redirect you over here where we're going to wait five seconds. And then a button on the top right will appear that says a skip. This is just a little ad that appears to support the creator of Forge. What we're going to do is just wait and click on a skip. Go ahead and click on the skip button. And that is going to immediately start the download for you. In my case, it's asking me where I want to save it. But for you, it's just going to download it straight away. As you can see, we have Forge down here. Let's go ahead and drop that into the desktop. Let me make this a little bit smaller and drop Forge, the jar file, into the desktop. Now we have a jar file to install Forge, but we actually need World Edit. To download World Edit, go ahead and click on the third link in the description, which will bring you to our written guide, of course, on how to download and install World Edit. If you want to look and read through the screenshots and stuff, you could go ahead and do so. But the main thing here is to click on the green button on the right, the one that says Curveforge down here. As you can see, it says Curveforge. The one in the left is just to download early editions before they're actually released officially, but 1.19.2 Wallet has already been released officially, so we could download it here on the right. Go ahead and click on that button. Once we're here in CurseForge, what we're going to do is click on Files, right here, this little uh, Files button here, that is going to redirect you over here, where we're going to scroll down and find World Edit 1.19.2. As you can see, it is the most recent version right here, but there's a chance that when you come over here, you might have 1.20, 1.19.3. Just look for the one that you desire. In this case, we're going to be installing 1.19.2 find it and then click on download file that is going to redirect you over here where in five seconds the download will start automatically just go ahead and wait for that to start downloading and in my case it's going to ask me as you can see but for you it's just going to start downloading and while that downloads though let me tell you real quick about apex hosting if you are looking for a minecraft server look no further because apex hosting got you with 25 percent off if you use the first link in the description now apex hosting provides you with a lot of advantages but what i personally love about apex hosting is that you can actually access the server console through your phone meaning that you could change the settings if you have to op somebody or if you have to kick somebody out of your server you could do it through your phone and that is why i think apex hosting is amazing if you want to sign up right now 25 percent off with the first link in the description this is not a sponsor i'm not a sponsor by apex it's just an affiliate link that i'm sharing with you guys in case you want to support the channel and start a minecraft server so anyways let's keep going with the tutorial now we already have wall edit and what we're going to do is drop it to our desktop so now we have wall edit and we have forge the jar files right so we need to install those jar files at least for forge but the thing is that in order to install any modded version of Minecraft at both Minecraft 1.16.5, you will need to have at least Java 17th in your computer. Now, by default, Windows 10 comes with an outdated version of Java. How do you check what Java version you have in your computer? I'm going to show you right now. Now, don't get confused. Minecraft Java and Java are two different things. Those are two different softwares. Minecraft Java runs on Java, which is the engine that allows the programming to work in Minecraft Java, and you need to update this Java thing. To update Java, go ahead and click on where it says type here to search and type out of room of programs. That is going to bring us over here here and we're going to click on search this list and we're going to type java as you can see i have java 17th but there's a chance you have java 7th java 8 or just not any java even at all which means that these little cops in here won't work properly so in order to fix that i'm going to go ahead and get rid of my java 17th even though that is the one that we need but just to show you guys how to start this process from scratch and as you can see i went ahead and got rid of my java so let's say that you came over here and you had java 7th or java 8 and you went ahead and installed these javas or you came over here and you had no java what do you do next well we need to install java 17th that is very easy and we have a written guide on how to do that if you click in the fourth link in the description it will bring you over here on our written guide on how to download and install 
Java. You can look through the screenshots and read the text. But the main thing here is to click where it says download Java here. That is going to redirect you over here where we're going to scroll down. Let's go ahead and install Java 17th, even though we could install Java 18th, but we're going to install the 17th one. Go ahead and click on it, select Windows, and then select the XC4 installer where we're going to click download Oracle right here, this little blue link in the middle. That is going to start the download automatically, of course. And we're going to go ahead and drag and drop that file into the desktop, the JDK 17th Windows. Let's wait for that to finish installing or downloading, I'm sorry. And we could pretty much start installing everything and start with this process. Go ahead and double click on the JDK 17 installer to install Java first. When you double click on the installer, it's going to prompt you with the administrator sign, allow it to run, and there you're going to be presented with this screen where you're going to click next, next, and you're just going to wait for Java 17 to install. It should be a pretty simple process. And like I said, it is a requirement for any modern Minecraft above 1.16.5 to actually work. Let's just wait for this to finish. And there we go. Let's go ahead and click on close. And we could even go ahead and delete this file. Just select the installer for Java 17 and delete it. You don't need it anymore. Now, by this point, these little jar files should be working and everything should go smoothly. But in case it doesn't and it doesn't work properly for you, go ahead and click on the fifth link in the description and run a jar fix. The jar fix will solve any issues that you might have with these little jar files because some of you might not see these cops in here, the little cop with the smoke coming out. Or when you double click on them, instead of opening the installer, it might launch Chrome or Internet Explorer, something like that. If you want to fix that, you can run a jar fix. I'm not going to do it in the tutorial because I don't want to make this video longer. But if you want to run a jar fix, it's really simple and it's only three steps. You can see our guide on how to do that. And yeah, you could do that. Now, the next step, assuming that everything is working properly for you, is to double click on Forge 1.19.2. Go ahead and double click on that. And that is going to launch the installer. As you can see, we have the installer right here and it says install client. Let's go ahead and click on OK. And let's just wait for this to install. It should be a really, really fast process as well, just like installing Java earlier. And there we go. Forge has been installed successfully. As you can see, it says that the profile Forge for 1.19.2 has been created. Let's go ahead and click on OK. And now we could even delete the Forge installer and this little Forge sign that appears on the top or text document that appears on top. Let's go ahead and delete that and let's keep going with the tutorial. What you're going to do next is launch your Minecraft launcher. So let's go ahead and open that. And when Minecraft launcher opens, if you install Forge 1.19.2 correctly, you should see selected here in the bottom left. As you can see, we have a bunch of different modded Minecraft, but we have Forge 1.19.2. If it doesn't show in there, click on installations, make sure that modded is selected. And if it's still that doesn't fix it for you, go ahead and click on new installation and find Forge 1.19.2. As you can see right here, you can name this whatever you want and click create on the bottom right. And that might create an instance and fix the issue if you don't see Forge. But most of you will see Forge in here. And what we're going to do next to add wall edit is click on installations, find the Forge in here. As you can see, I have it the first one on the top. And you're going to click on this little folder that appears on the right. That is going to launch a way bigger folder with a lot of files. We're going to minimize the launcher for now. And we're going to look into this folder and find another folder called mods, M-O-D-S. As you can see, I don't have the mods folder right now. And chances are that many of you won't have that folder either. So what we're going to do is create it. Go ahead and click right click click new and click folder and just type MODS, go ahead and type mods. As you can see, we now have a mods folder that we created ourselves. I'm going to go ahead and open that folder and I'm just going to drag and drop the wallet jar file into that folder, into the mods folder that we created ourselves. Let's go ahead and close this big folder open the Minecraft launcher back up and you can go ahead and click on play Forge and it's going to give you the sign. Go ahead and click that you understand the risk of playing modern Minecraft. And let's just wait for this to uh, launch. Now, once Minecraft has opened, in order to check if we have wallet installed, you could go ahead and click on this little mods option that appears. And as you can see, we have wallet in here. We could go ahead and launch our world. And as you can see, we're now in a world. If we press T and we type the little dash command or whatever this is called slash, I don't really know the names of this. Okay. As you can see, we have the brush and all these tools that wallet it brings. I don't know how to use wallet it myself, but I'm pretty sure you do know how to use it and that is why you installed it. Anyways, I hope this video helped you to install wallet and as always, bye bye.